Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby, they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we'll work on exercise number 21. Let's start off by clicking on the new file and new part template. And we have the workspace ready now. We'll go to the sketch and start sketching. Let's start sketching on the right plane. And I'll sketch this portion here. So to do that, I'll firstly use the rectangle tool. Maybe I'll go for a central rectangle. I'll create a rectangle here. Go for smart dimension and start dimensioning. This is 80. So we have this portion here now. And let's also create this whole And that hole is of dimension radius 20, so diameter will be 40. Oops. Okay. Diameter is 10. So we can see that radius 20 is for this fillet, and diameter 10 is for this hole here. And also, we need to place the hole. Sometimes we forget. So that's why before we exit any sketch, we have to make sure that the sketch is fully constrained by checking whether the sketch is uh, of the color black. Now here, 50 and 80, so that'll be 30, 15, 15 each. So that'll be 15 here. And also, from here to here, it should be 20. And now we can see that the sketch is fully constrained. But also it's good that if we have this circle created as well. So to create that you can simply select the circle here and go for mirror entities. So to do mirror entities we need to first have an axis. So let's just go ahead and create a center line here directly vertical and then go for mirror entities and select this oops not this one go here and select this axis here and you can see before you confirm that particular uh, entity you'll be able to see that in the yellow color so you'll be able to confirm whether that's how you need to get it mirrored now you can click on the tick mark and that particular sketch will be con will be confirmed now we can exit the sketch here and then go for features and extrude boss and base and give 12 as the thickness and then you can select these two edges here then go for fillet and give a fillet of radius 20 that creates that portion there and now we have to create this this particular portion to do that you can select this face and go for sketch go for rectangle just select this edge here and just drag it oops let's do it again drag it and place it here now the only constraint that you have to give is this particular thickness so as you can see in the drawing the thickness is oops 10 uh, today it seems that I have some problem with the mouse
Now we can give that dimension as 10. Now exit this sketch and now you can go for extrude boss and base and give an extrusion of 65 plus 30 that will be 95 you can select this and give 95 double enter will confirm that and now we can simply create this portion here this cutout by selecting this face here and then going for sketch and you can create a three point arc it doesn't matter initially you just have to give that shape there and you can give a straight line here as well and also finally you can give another three point arc alright now so use the use the selection tool select and control select and give tangent same way select this control select and give tangent and also you can start dimensioning it so to dimension that we can give a radius of 15 and this length this overall length from here to here is how much that's 65 and finally this radius is 30 so you can just simply give 30 and you can see if it's fully constrained if it's not you just try to move the sketch by selecting the selection tool let's try to move the sketch see if the sketch is moving anywhere so the sketch is not moving so that means it's fully constrained now let's use the line tool and complete this and then you can exit the sketch I'm really sorry about this because my mouse uh, gives a right click when I'm doing the left click so that's really irritating happens sometimes exit the sketch and now go for extruded cut go for up to next up to next click on the tick mark and that completes that sketch there and you can simply select this extruded cut and then go for mirror and you can simply go here and select one of the plane which suits our need that's not the one so it should be right front it should be front plane you can simply press the enter button and that will be completing that particular command there and finally you have to create this particular portion so to do that what you can do is you can start creating this portion first click on the sketch and okay doesn't seem like uh, the sketch is correct in our case maybe if we complete this we'll be able to understand what's wrong we'll create another sketch there another circle use a smart dimension and give 40 and here give uh, 25 and that's at the distance of 65 
and uh, still not fully constrained it's quite strange you know all right let's exit the sketch and then create the extrude bosom base and give the height as 30 because um, I'm, I'm actually worried about this particular portion it's not supposed to come there even though it looks like uh, the model is complete but it's it's actually not according to what I feel now let's give another sketch on the front plane clicking on the sketch and going for front plane and just simply create another three-point arc maybe just select this I really don't like this mouse Okay, select these two and go for convert entities and just select both of these lines here and go for for construction and you can create another three point arc here and just give the radius for that that'll be radius 50 and uh, You can just simply use the line tool and just draw here. Also, you can pull this out a little bit. You can do that. Maybe you can put this a little outwards and use the extend. Extend that exit the sketch and then go for extra boss and base and give 10 or 5 on both direction direction number 2 will be 5 double enter will confirm that so the reason why I had given an extension is because if I didn't give that we would have had a gap over here uh, somewhere this portion was a circle there right a, a cylindrical uh, surface there so if I had given a pad here then we would have had a, a kind of triangular gap here so to fill that I've given that extension there and uh, let's see what went wrong in the sketch here so let's just simply go back to this could extrude maybe go for edit sketch and go for control 8 and see if uh, radius 15 at 65 this is radius 30 so this overall should be 60 right okay so what is this it's 80 what was given let's go back so this is how you have to um, uh, troubleshoot uh, or, or something that you have done before so maybe you can go here and go for edit sketch see if anything is wrong here if you're not able to find out it's just go back for this the first one they have done go for the sketch and go for edit sketch and see if something is wrong here it's 80 and okay it's radius 15 15 15 is 30 30 this portion is 30 30 30 is 60 so 10 10 it should be 10 10 I got it <clears throat> so problem came over here mm. okay probably at this go for edit sketch control 8 so Oh, 
Oh, my mouse. This should be 10. And now it's fully constrained. So I was trying to uh, find out what's wrong with that sketch. I was trying to move the sketch, but the sketch was not moving because I had a problem with the mouse. I'm really sorry about that. Now if you see, if I just exit the sketch, and I'll be able to see that the sketch is fully constrained. And also the model is fully done. We had an issue over here, but now it's resolved. And uh, I think this video would be more helpful than the video if I didn't make these uh, mistakes I can say so I hope you enjoyed and also you can put down your comments and also don't forget to like share and subscribe and also uh, you can hit the like button if you would like to get the notification when I make a new upload thank you so much and stay tuned for the next uploads